One of the largest trends this year, the 2010 New York Auto Show, has been smartphone integration. There seems to be no industry standard, and each manufacturer is kind of making their own system. So why don't we go and take a look at a few of those? We're in a new Countryman Mini, and this is the 2011 model. So you guys have some very interesting connectivity features in here. Can you go through them a little bit? Sure, the primary one is an option that we're gonna offer called Mini Connected. It's kind of a way to get everything that you have in your iPhone integrated into your car. Mini Connected includes a digital screen, includes a joystick controller down here with two buttons which give you a shortcut to your home and allow you to scroll through the various functions. There's a much uh, shorter learning curve. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sit there and learn a whole new system like you have to when you have your other manufacturer systems out there. In addition, whenever you make any updates to software or you have any changes on the apps that you use, you're already used to it. Now, obviously, people are worried about potential driver distraction. We intend to make available text-to-speech and speech-to-text as well. That changes things greatly because no longer your eyes off the road looking at a screen trying to read something. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm with Smart Car, and you guys seem to have a very interesting system. You have a huge demo of an iPhone right here. Um, what are you doing to integrate this into your cars? You can play your iPod audio or internet radio audio, and during um, a navigation voice prompt, it'll actually turn down your, your audio automatically for you. Under media, you have access to your iPod media library, also internet radio and what we call ID Song. So ID Song is kind of like a Shazam-like service. You take a short audio clip of your playing audio source and it'll return the metadata. All right, I got it. There you go. Right. Ah! <laughs> what car are we in right now? We are in the 2011 Audi A8. One of the biggest features of this new car is its MMI touch. It recognizes your handwriting. So and what you're doing is you're just kind of, there's this pad right here, and then you're using your finger to um, write the letters. Exactly. We offer this pad for multiple languages, so Chinese, uh, Russian Cyrillic, Japanese, Korean. We are inside a uh, brand new 2010 Ford Fusion Sport uh, with the, uh, the Ford Sync system. It's our hands-free, voice-activated phone and MP3 player. All you have to do is say the name of the person you want to call, and it'll call them. Phone, please say a command. So can this car do anything else? Uh, well, this car can also uh, do Twitter, for example. How? Um, so you can actually listen to Twitter feeds inside of the vehicle. What car are we in right now? We're actually in the 2011 Ford Edge. Well, this car includes our new My Ford Touch system, which is a whole user interface experience we call the human machine interface. We now have two USB connections, an SD card connection as well too, and we have Wi-Fi capability, which allows the vehicle to connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot. After taking a look at all of those different systems, which one do you think looks the best? And what would you like to see in your next car? I'm Ellie Rountree, and this has been Rockaboom Tech.